Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany aka O'Clock Games and I am back with another create a pet video. This time I'm creating Sahara, my cat, and these are my only animals, my dog and my cat. Well, not my only animals, but my only dog and my only cat are Sahara and Bindi and I already posted Bindi's videos, so make sure you go check that out. But here we have Sahara. So Sahara is a calico cat, um, a Duluth calico cat, and I was having a lot of trouble trying to find the right shade for her. You can see me changing it all throughout this video. So first I went with this very light tan on her face or like a yellow I wanted to originally do that but she looked really weird with it uh, Sahara in general has a lighter face than she does her body so that's what I was kind of going for at first so I try to really really nail this this color pattern it took me a long time to do but obviously this is a sped up video so it's not gonna be too painful for you guys but I think she turned out really well she will be in my self sim series along with Bindi so you guys need to go check that out and here she has a little spot. She has a little spot of black behind her one ear. She's she's so cute. I loved I loved creating these. I surprised myself with creating these animals because I didn't think, you know, I didn't I'm not an artist. I'm not really good at this. But create a pet gives you so many tools to be able to do all this. So you can see here I tried to do the lighter color, but it just was not working. So I went um with the I think I yeah, I took the color that was originally there for the calico to try and work it out but I had you can see a picture of her here on uh, in the on the, the one side but I had like I think I had like five pictures of her on the screen because Bindi when I did Bindi's I could just call her in and be like oh look at her and then she will leave but Sahara is very particular you know she wants to sleep she wants to eat she wants to stay away from everybody <laughs> so it was really difficult. I had to work with some pictures. So she's she's not perfect. I mean, none of them are going to be perfect, but she 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 turned out really well. Um, I would have really liked to have had her as a, as a model, though. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I also would have made her fatter, but that's as fat as you can get a cat. Just to let you know, <laughs> I'm like Sims. Sims, have you seen my cat? Like she's fat. Uh, she doesn't look fat in the picture, but she has this fat pouch. You guys, if you watch my vlogs, you know that she has that fat pouch that pouch there. Uh, and then I ended up with a darker brown there for some reason. I don't know why that happened or how that happened. I wasn't watching. <laughs> I don't know if I accidentally clicked on the wrong color. I was using the little eyedropper tool to get the right colors, but I, ended up, I fixed it in the end. So no worries. No worries. But this... This is so fun. I just want to recreate her all over again. And let's see. I think... Yeah, okay. I used stencils for the tail. So stencils. Stencils were a lifesaver. We'll get there. I'm like talking ahead of myself. Um, the Calico did come with preset. All of these breeds come with preset characteristics and traits. Uh, the Calicos, I think I didn't keep it. I can't remember what it was. Oh, man. I can't remember what it was. But Sahara is a very... Pacific specific cat and she's she's very she's very I mean I feel like all animals are very specific but I definitely gave her all of the traits that I possibly could uh she is a very skittish cat but I didn't choose that trait only because I don't think that would make for good gameplay to be quite honest um I don't like the fact that Sahara is a very skittish cat she's very scared of everything she's scared if you make one change in the room so let's say Let's say you have a rock on the floor. I don't know why you have a rock on the floor, but let's say you have a rock right in the center of your floor and it's been there for a month, okay? And then you move it two inches to the right for for two minutes. She will reek out. She'll be so scared. She's just, it's, it's unreal and I get it. You know, I get it. New things are scary and all that stuff, but I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. So I didn't want to add that on, but... Anyway, I'm doing the little rings on her tails with the stencils, which, oh my gosh, those stencils are a lifesaver. <laughs> they really helped me. So I went over it with Gray because she does have kind of a light slash dark tail. It's kind of weird, obviously. She's a calico. She just has all kinds of colors all over her. And I was just trying to fix that and make it look a little bit more natural. And I think I ended up going back and fixing it again. But she is mostly white, which, which was nice and easy but she's you know calico so it wasn't easy and then I ended up changing her paw color which is really cool actually it took me a little bit of time to find out how I did so here I go trying to changing the colors again uh to find out how to change the paw color like the little paw pads 
Um, over right behind where Sahar's picture is, there's like a detail mode, and that's where you need to go into that to be able to paint the paws. See, I was trying to use a stencil. I was like, maybe that'll work, <laughs> but it didn't. So I ended up um, working it out because she has really, really pink paws. Anyway, that is it. And Sahara's traits. Okay, she's spoiled. I added spoiled. I added glutton because she is, and lazy because those are her to a T. But I took to, took away the original calico one, I think. I don't remember what it was, but thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know if you think I got Sahara right or not. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.